Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Uh, I don't know. Should I tell him? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Yeah, we'll get Deadly to it. serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. Yeah, we don't and find I out. Am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word That's of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Of course. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Alright. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Let's see what we got here. Revelio. Oh, I just saw an enemy appear. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So Ooh, don't them let students? them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells? Spells are free. Give it a try. <laughs> I like this evil ass nigga, bro. Crafty. Alright, let's see. When does it learn invisibility? Oh. I like the sound of this. This is gonna be good. How do you change out your spells? Oh, okay. Let's see. Well, now we got invisibility. Nearby adversaries will sense and then investigate suspicious behavior being taught by authority figures will result in quest failure. Okay. So no getting taught. Oh, does he already suspect me? Okay. We just creeping. What part of the library is this? I don't think we're in the library yet. No one noticed that door open. Blast. The librarian's still here. Revelio, really find the bookcase. Alright, I'm heading there. <clears throat> you told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? Yeah. <laughs> the key is in the drawer of that desk. Now. Here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. It's best to not ask too many questions. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Oh. I'm not invisible yet. Here we go. Just creep on by real quick. Don't mind me. The key. Here it is. Is someone there? No. Is that you, Peeves? No, she wasn't worried about me. Oh, yeah. Now we're dead. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Revelio. Oh. 
Let me get that chest. Hold up. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. All right, heading down. Is that, that her again? Use basic tasks while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies. Desire location, A mode. Oh, okay, so we can distract. Why are you telling me that now? Ghost, don't let her see you. Ghost? Oh. Revelio. Oh, that lady. Uh, distract. Yes, and Ghost and see us. Ooh. Don't mind me, just going past. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it? You I mean, no need for you, but I'm still gonna do it, bro. I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you're in a restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Revelio, let's focus on what you're on. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Oh, this works? Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. And by me or the book? Ooh. Some just fell over. There it is. Yeah. Oh, we need repair for this. Who have we here? Oh, who the fuck is that? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Are you a wizard or a ghost? Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted. Peeves, I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't get in trouble, bro. Into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. <laughs> now go. Good luck in your search. Hopefully now, I find what I need. That damned poltergeist got to. Oh, he is a dose, okay. I know just the spell to repair this armor. Oh yeah, I would hope so. Repair him. Revelio. Oh, we gotta find a book. Oh, by myself now, so I don't get any special alert. Oh, this looks like a battle area. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Well, let me open this up first. Considering that there's a chest down there, yeah, there had to be more. This game is getting good already, bro. Oh, big old chest. Thank goodness, bro. That'll be some coins, and that's it. Where might this lead? Discover the secret of the antechamber. Revelio. Okay, we gotta figure this out. Is there anything to? What's that? Let's try out different spells here. Lumos. Ah. Oh, I can do it while I'm visible. I need to wake up that rune over there. That thing? I wake it up though. Incendium. I don't think this. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna reach. I mean, we haven't used repair. Or... I wonder if I can hit the rune with a spell. Oh, this? I forgot about the basic attack. I didn't even think about it. I fucking hit it, then it started taking the bridge away. Revelio. Oh. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Oh, are they at the ready? Oh. Let me Float. Stop it. Accio. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hi. Bring your ass. Oh, bitch. Oh, where'd he go? Use 
use this. Oh, that's so dope. At least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full. You can cast devastating ancient magic attacks. I wonder if it changes. Is that the same one? Revelio. That's so sick, bro. Oh, what up, my boys? I mean, to hit that shit that many times. Oh, bitch. No. Stop it. There we go. Get rid of him. Go ahead, bring out that bridge. Whoa! Oh, we can make it. All right. Revelio. Let's see. This must be the way forward, but to where? I cannot tell you, bro. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna fall it a thousand yeah. times. Best keep my wits about me. Alright, come on. Let's get this over with, big dog. Bring your ass. Nope. Boom, boom. Stop it. Lift your ass up. Yeah, stop that bullshit. Oh, I didn't even notice you. Stupefy, boy. Ooh, bring your ass. I didn't want you. Damn. Why fall like a GTA character? Oh, damn. Uh oh. Stupefy. Uh oh. Him up too, and stop it. Boom, 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 boom. Bring your ass. There we go. We good now. It is a book after all. Oh, it's a nice book. Trying to show me something already. <laughs> That's it. Go ahead, dunk your head in. Damn, that town looks fucked up. Dumbledore in his prime. Damn, nothing but ash and soot in there. Rain spell? Yep. Wizards were the really good guys. That's some powerful ass magic. Words are even spoken. They're just like, let's do it. I wonder if that's Professor Weasley. You wanted to see me? 
headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach. Well, oh, never mind. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morgan, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago. I wonder why their volume is so low. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination and wild. Of course he did. It was not your imagination. First of all, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? <laughs> she got excited. Capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morton. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. Made sense. This powerful and great power of our hands. It must be wielded by a select That you not speak to anyone about what we've discussed here today. <laughs> I feel like she knows it'll tell everybody. She looks like she's about to. It's oh, yeah, we got right out of there, damn it. I should have stayed there and figured it out. Sneaking in the restricted section again! <laughs> I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If oh, someone has on coerced me? you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian, what will your uncle say? <laughs> what a dickhead. You a real G, though, Sebastian, for that. Revelio. Yeah, we got Fade over here. Let's wait on him, I guess. Oh, he must be in now. He's never here, so he must be here now. Uh-oh. Nidlius. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? Yeah, it's it's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. How you just noticed me? I'll see what I Rebellion. Can hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Let's talk about it. What? That's... Wait. <laughs> you accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. It's probably a good Fair idea. Enough. You don't want to know. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. I really don't remember taking it for real. I remember just looking at the memory. Page oh. missing. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. Hmm, of course it will. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. Why I is everything know, below sir. Hogwarts? I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. 
The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Damn. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Made sense, honestly. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. That's you've done facts. exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. I wish we had more storage oh, for the spells. And don't neglect your oh. friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I mean, that's, that's how you think about that boat, big dog. Got friends in low places. Oh, yeah. Okay. See if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. That's so cool. They have voice Meet messages me like that. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Oh shit! Didn't I open this before? Oh wait. Post requesting to meet her in Lower. I mean, I'd like to. Just give me one second. Hold on. World map. Oh Jesus. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. Oh, that's a lot. The map looks very expansive. As you explore, you remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Oh, Please good. complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. All right, boys and girls, we got a lot to do, apparently. All right, there's a few side quests I want to knock out that's nearby, so we'll do those. Spare a moment. I could use your help. Oh, shit, it's Harry Potter, bro. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course, confronting trolls and dragons. Oh, yes, of course. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. Oh boy. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff skin. Puff skin? Are you afraid of your own shadow too? Yeah, that's mean. <laughs> Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff skin. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogies, you know. I thought it was Regardless bogies. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway. To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Oh, shit. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Been somewhere yes. important. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you yeah, could do. go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I, my gloves. I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. If I'm Grand. in the area, I'm going straight I'd to I very there. much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Oh, forever? I like the sound of that. Incendio. 
Damn, why you beat his ass for it? Rebellion. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Dry vines? Okay. Oh, these vines. Incendio! There we go. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Let's put this on just in case. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Just like the damn movies. Revelio. Which way are we going? Seems like the right way, so I'll try this way. We need a little Incendio. bit of fire. A little bit more fire. A little bit more fire. Open this up. Silver spectacles. We can jump down, we're good. Rebellio. Just Lumos. had a bite out of my leg. Rebellion. Lumos. Incendio. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Accio. Oh, we're just destroying that. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Oh, hurry, hurry. Oh. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Oh, we got some points. Incendio. Let's see what I do, just pick a piece off real quick? Yep. We can burn that hole. Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. Fire pits. Oh. No, oh, right above the greenhouse. Revelio. Oh, we just start collecting these too. Not really sure what they do, but this is a big old chest. Oh. All right, there you go, right here. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. That was definitely the wrong one to ask. Now that I think about it, puff scheme Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. And we throw a little jab in there too. Overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. I don't know You've who that wasted is. my time. You're not who I thought you were. It be like that sometimes. Should never have trusted you. Let's do a little battling. Hello there. Didn't I get this chest already? Oh no, I didn't. All right, Lucan. To practice? No, I don't need no practice. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Yeah, I am. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? No. I'll go it alone. I'm a dolo Then leader. let's get started. Okay, who are we fight? We can make this a real victory. Oh. Some That's older students. Spirit. See, I don't think I changed my spells out either, so I'm tripping on that. Break through red shields with damage spells. Okay. Oh, get him. Turn your ass. Stop it. Keep her juggled. No, sir. Bring your ass. Hell, we're keeping them juggled. Stay up. Oh, you just don't shit at me. 
No. I ain't doing that shit. Stop it. Oh, I, I use Loomis, bro. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. For real. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durmstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! Oh, what I did. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank no, you. I'll take that. I do it's deserve that. Honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Okay, we got a little undershirt thing. Alright, then we have to do training dummy again. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? I hope so. That'd be brilliant. Hopefully, Wonderful. I have the right powers on. I'll set things up. Oh, yeah, I do, Remember to cast all the spell real. combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. I know how it works, bro. Akio, incendio, Easy. That's it. Okay. Incendio. One, two, three. Inferno. One, two, three, four. And really had to wait for that shit to charge up. Nicely done. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. It was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. <laughs> Even though you won the tournament already. I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. At least that helps me better understand the timing of things. Cause you gotta wait for that shit to charge back up. Let's see, I did that. That was a main quest, kind of. It's like a side quest, main quest. Okay, we back outside. I remember the girl from that last video. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Yep, everybody remember that. Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Not Rumor really. is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? <laughs> Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Ooh, I like rewards. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. Hmm. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Oh, you need Perhaps a real nigga wizard, luck. boy. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. This game is amazing, I bro. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you've Revelio. Anything. Grab this too. Some trolls and tutus. And what up, bro? 
My dear Satyabhati, you'll be pleased to hear that I receive word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all modules, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust of at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the... I don't even know how to say that, so I'm not going to. From my days as a gentleman scholar, whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar, Mantar, when adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and I do hope you are well. With love, such Rita. Rebellion. Right. I apologize for the reading about the greatest, apparently, that's for sure. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. Yeah, I know you talk about it all the time about your damn travels. As a day oh, there's a key. I wonder where it might lead me. I was going right back to this room. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in? Slap there? it. Excellent. Oh shit. First try. You have to slap it in the An middle. Old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Okay, there she go right there. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? I was. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. Yeah, the Slytherin I bet one. it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Oh, okay. Then you give I me options. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should uh, see this through and find be grand. the Slytherin house chest. Oh, in my face, literally the Phantom of the Opera. This must be my house chest. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Oh. Quite a few by the look of it. Revelio. Are you alright? Look like you've seen a ghost. If only. Get away! All of you! Are they from the restricted section? No, and none of your business. There you are, sneaking past me! I know. And taking dangerous books! They are from the restricted section. Yes, I mean, shut up. Enough! Here! Perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. What, me? Use a broom, not to fly? That is what I said, and let this be a lesson to all of you off limits being off. Oh, what we got here? Revelio. Incendio. Oh. See some more over here. Two. Square. That is the four. Okay. Triangle, triangle. Alright, triangle with target is three. Oh shit. I didn't know the other one was on one already. Well, looks like we got more chests and puzzles. Hard work secret. Oh, let's go get it. Revelio. Ooh, brown and gold. Pioneer tool shelf. Alright, we're gonna do the herbology quest. Such a friendly environment. Good morning, Professor Garlic. <laughs> How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little squash. treat for your auntie. <laughs> oh, oh, like a menace. Hello. She's like, what class, the fuck? Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. 
We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. The mandrake Accio. root? Why does that name sound familiar? Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> oh, is it the streaming one? I think that's what the mandrake's from. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and oh, give boy. it a firm tug. I really hope it's not as loud as it was in the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> it definitely is that thing, though. Damn! It's cracking glass. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Oh, okay. <laughs> so just simply just fix it real quick. I'm Keep forgetting about Reparo. I'm about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. Oh, it crafted last? Right, then. Off you go. I thought everybody's did. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, what did Professor. I do? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, <laughs> yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Cool. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Ten minutes. I'll see you at the wait real time. Select the available seeds to begin planting. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Disney will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now! What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. Chinese the Chinese cabbage. chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Mm. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Mr. Come Pruitt? Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Who's Mr. Pruitt? Is this this dude? The best time to plant a seed is no. last season. Everett The second best time is now. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Oh, you. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. That's what I'm talking about the first Thinks one. He's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I oh. nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. <laughs> Sorry. 
Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Well, I'm collecting all these plants, bro. Even out of them for free and shit. All right, LB and tap R to open the tools. Then tap. Look at that. Oh, shit. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. You better out. back up, bro. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. <laughs> booba tubers. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. Yeah, I really was. I mean, of course, you're uh, not someone to be trifled with. That's right, boy. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Rocket. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. Such a nice lady. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I don't care much for plants, honestly. Yeah, I Thank mean, I'm evil, so I gotta say it. Looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, Tend to your plants, and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Will that quest complete? Ten potions class. Okay, we made it to potions class. Ooh, where are the frames, though? Potions oh, is one guy. of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's Damn, class like is that. completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please Easy. be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. Pinch. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. It's a little tap. Tap, tap. Damn, bit old ladle. Yeah, give it a stir. Damn, something smells good. Hold on, let me go check. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> yeah, I'm already finished, mm. boy. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Edurus. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come resourceful. and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. 
Select Ashwinder A, select Dark My Mongrel Fur. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? I sure do. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Sounds Brilliant! Like you, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do I say so say myself. You look like evil Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. Fupa? As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I can get it. I'll get you the Fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Hmm. Your potion should not... Okay, you got mongrel fur, got the feather, ashwinder eggs. Rebellion. We missing it here. What is this over here? When brewing potion. One cent. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Ajurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Oh, there's my table. Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Endurus. Growing time, 27 seconds. Okay, so I have to wait. And now we add the Mallow Sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Oh, boy. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! <laughs> What happened? Damn. <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. It ain't me, though. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I know you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp oh, of no, how to combine good. various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Oh, I think each my of way. us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, that's all I had to do here. I haven't been out here at all besides uh, just to walk to my mission. All right, so can't do anything at the farm. We'll see what else we can get into. Rebellion. I need to perform dodge rolls as well. Finally get into that open world aspect. So game about to do real good. It's already good, but it's about to get even better. Oh. Revelio. Door's actually open. There's a long way up here. This roof right here and that page that flew by. Alright, that place was pretty cool. A few little items to grab up top. Nothing major though, just some pages. Oh, I could have teleported here, bro. Alright, we're meeting with Natty outside the castle. Incendio. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. This looks intriguing. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. It is intriguing, my boy. Let's go figure out something. Shit, always full, bro. All right, got some different drip on. Had to change it up. Come on. I'm gonna do something to stand there. Bring your ass. Okay. Can I bring this creature here? I can't even see it. Doug Boggs. What's that a toad? Hey, who's this way out here, bro? Might I beseech you for some assistance? Oh boy, what you want? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name Smeldy. is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? An event or underwater adventure sounds like fun. Diving to the lake doesn't sound too appealing. Yeah, why Diving not? into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm Damn. so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are mm. known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Mm. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Okay. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand, but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, mm. you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much Rebellion. to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Northeast? I can, I can dive? Oh, shit. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh, there we go. Okay, made it to another spot. We did for that one. Oh, we got the the thing that she wanted. Oh, we got more heals. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. The hell does that thing do, bro? Oh, All right, I'm here. Find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. Here you are. It's yours for a price. I did, and I'm keeping it. Do I need it though? Or am I just being a dickhead? 
I'd never do it for a price. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, exactly. for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Yeah, I did. I found a few things. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding... Sorry, I didn't want to hear the rest of that. Must be a way to get underneath, huh? Akio! Just on somebody's house, start fucking busting Rebellion. shit up. We got a little shop over here. Up. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello! I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Hmm. Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking traveling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Damn, of course. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. No, I haven't. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. <laughs> My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? Potions. I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> that is not a good thing. My saying. ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Okay, let me see the wares. What can I help you with today? Mm, let's see, you get all the typical stuff. Increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. I do not have any of those yet. But let's see, 37. Let me put on the best stuff first. I hope to see you again sometime. I'm glad he's right there so I can sell him shit. Now we can go meet up with Natty. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. It's good to see you too, bro. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. You were there? I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Hmm, probably shouldn't say. Oh, I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm, a bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Okay. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I feel it. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day <laughs> -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. Theophilus. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. What a helpful student. I've always said that travel... I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Yeah, I was wondering that. Well, let's go find out what all that noise is about.
All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed Hogwarts Legacy Part 4. We knocked out a few side quests and main missions, and then we see something interesting happening at the end of this one. We'll pick it up in Part 5. I'll see you guys then.